Hey YouTube, what's up? So, um, I have another mail call slash fuse test video for you. This one is from Terry down in Texas. We'll open that up and do some measurements here and we'll get to testing. Alright, let's do it. Just gotta make sure I don't cut it in half. I think he said he got this out of some um, previous battery packs. Some of it looks like copper or maybe a tinned copper wire. We'll do some measurements real quick. Okay, this wire is 0.2 millimeters. And I also had a request for those little Pico fuses. I don't know the actual amperage on these, but they say half AL maybe. Yeah, so I have a couple of these that I'll do. All right, let's get to it. Okay, YouTube, of course I did remake my fuse tester here. The main reason was because I wanted more length, basically, so I could start at a lower amperage. So this is what I came up with. I have, uh, of course, just two aluminum rails across the side here, and they're all separated and isolated from the metal rails. They're on springs, and yeah, it gives me about three feet worth, I think, to start at a lower amperage, basically. And of course, I have my, my test lead there with my nail on it. Okay, today we're gonna do six different tests. We're gonna do three with the 12 gauge, which is 2.05 millimeter twisted panel. Pair. And then we're also going to use the 14 gauge twisted pair and that is 1.63 millimeter stick. I don't know I guess we'll probably do like a 7 millimeter gap and then maybe we'll go to 12 or 14. Okay first test is the 12 gauge twisted pair and this gap is set to 7.04 millimeters. Corn tech. Okay, um, that went pretty high, so what I'm going to do is open the gap up a little bit. Okay, I opened the gap up to 11.96 millimeters. Corn tech. Okay, I didn't get to see that because I was watching my wire to make sure it didn't burn out. Okay, this next test is on the 14 gauge twisted pair and I made the gap to 17.01 millimeters and I just bent it up. Hopefully it'll help it out. Horn tech. Okay, um, of course again I did not get to watch it because I was keeping an eye on my wire over here, but I do believe it was kind of high again. Alright, so I will increase the gap and go from there. Okay, this next test is the gap is actually set to about 24 millimeters, maybe just a little bit more, and I made three coils in the wire uh, similar to like a light bulb filament. The hope is that it'll heat up enough from the coils, the heat will kind of stay in one spot and, and burn the wire quicker. So we'll give that a try. Contact. Okay, so that did actually help it out quite a bit, but it would be kind of a pain in the ass to make coils in each wire for, for each battery if you wanted to do something like that. Of course, it does work because the gap is so big, but again, it'll be kind of a pain in the ass to coil each wire. In my opinion, is just a fuse, like a dead short fuse, kind of like um, Peter's last mishap where he shorted everything out and popped 80 fuses. This wire would be fine for that. Okay, Terry, I guess this very last test uh, will just be if you wanted to use it as strictly a dead short fuse only. Uh, so I just made a really tiny gap. I didn't even measure it because if you were just going to go for a fuse only, your gap would probably be, I don't know, maybe five millimeters. So it's pretty tiny. So we'll go ahead and do a dead short test. Contact.
Ooh. Let me uh, turn the air on. Look at that. I'm going to just short it to the rail over here. No. Okay, so I think it just shorted out my actual power supply. So I don't know, Terry. I don't know if I would use this stuff. I would probably find something different. I don't I don't know if I would trust this to... Eh, I mean, it, it might work in a dead, dead short. It'll have more than 30 amps, in my opinion. I don't know if I would use this wire, because uh, I just shut off my power supply, and I have yet to have that happen with any wire that I've tested so far. Okay, so next we will test the pico fuses okay um since i don't know anything really about these pico fuses i'm gonna try the three volt rail first and see what happens go on tech oh i think it already worked this will be test number two and we are on the three volt rail contact so we're a little under three volts so i'm gonna switch to the five volt rail contact See, you see that? I didn't even get up to anything. As soon as I touched it on, uh, it popped it. Okay, well, I'm going to switch back to the 3 volt rail. Contact. Okay, I'm going to move my nail again. Oh, maybe I can't. Alright, well. Hmm. Alright, Terry, so I don't know if I would use that wire. Um, even if you are going for just dead short only, it took more than 30 amps and I was kind of afraid to leave it on there for too long because I don't want to burn out the wire. So I would probably look for some different wiring. Um, that wire was a little thicker than some of the stuff I've tested in the past. And anybody else using the Pico fuses, those do work. I believe these ones were a half of an amp. Yeah, I think it was just around one amp. These ones did blow. And that was at the three volt rail. And I believe it was a little lower than three volts whenever it did pop. Um, all right, well, if anybody else has any suggestions for this testing right here, uh, leave me a comment down below. And I will talk to you guys later. Uh, um, and um um and uh um but um 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 hey guys just wanted to say thanks for visiting my channel and if you liked the video that you just saw take a look at my channel for some more videos and projects that i have going on so making some of the past videos i have noticed some problems i'm having with my cameras especially in like low light or trying to get up close and personal with something basically what i'm saying is the cameras they're not really doing what I need them to do anymore on this channel. So if you guys like the videos that I'm making here, maybe you would be interested in helping me purchase a new camera so I can uh, make some better quality videos. And if you do want to do that, I have two links down below. Thanks in advance.